Hey everybody, it's Courtney and I'm back with another video. I hope you guys enjoy my first video of putting out, just talking about my TV journey. I was really excited to put that video out. Now this one, I'm kind of diving more in, kind of focusing on just certain topics of journalism that I've been through working here in television. And this will be all about working in a small market. Now, when I first started, I worked um, in a small market. And uh, for those who may not know, there are, I think, a total of 210 markets in TV, and it's all based on population. So the first would be New York and Los Angeles and Philadelphia, the, you know, the, the bigger cities. And then as you go down in lower population, then those are when you get those small markets. So when I first graduated from college, I got my first job two months after graduating. So yeah, I had a pretty quick transition going from college to reporter. Well, I was an MMJ and you know, MMJs is, is different from a reporter. Usually reporters have a photographer with them. I did not when I got my first job. So I'm going to kind of go down the list and kind of tell you some things I learned while, you know, just working in a small market. Now, some things I learned working in my first market was definitely learning how to adjust. My first job, I was in market 193. So that was a really small town, but I enjoyed my two years there. And the biggest thing for me was learning how to adjust working, you know, coming from being a student to now, you know, work life in the work field kind of having a quick turnaround. I, when I was in college, I had about three weeks to put a package together. Only had a few hours to put put it put that package together and have it, you know, written, edited. I had to go out and shoot, depending on how hot bar it was, and I'll have to drive an hour, uh, sometimes less, and then still get back to put those packages together. Sometimes I didn't get a lunch break, but working in TV, hey, it is what it is. So definitely have to learn how to you know just how to adjust and things like that um definitely learn your environment because that's the biggest thing and especially if you're not familiar with that area i moved from louisiana to mississippi and i've like never just been in mississippi I always drove through mississippi if i was going on vacation or visiting somewhere but Definitely had to learn that environment, so I took the time, you know, to learn where I was going. GPS was my best friend. Sometimes I got lost, but that's okay. So definitely learn your environment because that's the biggest thing that will get you through. Also, I made sure I took the time to look for the officials I knew I would need to be, like police chief, fire chief, board of supervisors, city council, because those are the main people you're going to need to talk to because those people that have the stories. I covered many city council meetings, board of supervisors meetings. Sometimes they can be boring, but you can definitely find a lot of good stories in there that you can follow up with in the coming days. Because in small markets, sometimes, you know, days are really slow where not much is going on. And you can always have those stories in your back pocket. So you can be like, oh, okay, I covered this during a board meeting or a city council meeting. And let me follow up with that, see how that's going. So you definitely need to learn you know get to know those people because they are definitely great resources i still keep in contact with several of them now so it's definitely good to have those resources just in case you have a slow news day and the biggest thing also is being an mmj you're what's deemed as a one-man band so i was that when i was at school so going from being a one-man band at school and transitioning into the work Force wasn't really that big of a difference because I was so used to it already. It was again that quick turnaround that I wasn't as familiar with. That I'd be like, oh, okay, well, let me go grab everything, get out the door, things like that. Having to shoot, edit, do everything yourself. I personally like that better because I feel like I have more creative control of what I wanted to shoot. Having a photographer is great and you know it could be really convenient especially if you're in a space where a lot is going on you have time to get everything you know write down notes shoot make sure you get the right b-roll and everything like that but i definitely enjoy being a one-man band sometimes it can be a little much again depending on where you are and what story you're covering but having to learn how to do both and like have everything in front and behind the camera is definitely valuable to know because again 
if you move up and you get asked to, when I say move up, I mean move up in markets and you're suddenly just asked to maybe go shoot something. You already know how to do that. So you can go out there and get everything done and put together for whatever newscast it may be, the store may be airing. So it's always good to, you know, just learn how to do everything yourself. I enjoy editing, I enjoy shooting, I love doing all that in one, but sometimes it can get overwhelming, but hey, if you're confident, you, you don't have to worry about anything. Also, some of the best learning experiences came from being in a small market. I would definitely say start from a small market where you can make all of your mistakes. I definitely made a lot of mistakes. I might have to do a story time one day to tell you guys, but you know, learn, like, learn how to do everything in the small markets because again when I did my two years in Mississippi and those were the best two years I learned so much and definitely you know carried me on to where I am now you know I'm just one market up from where I was it's definitely different from where I started to where I am now because you definitely get that learning experience you need to you know move up in markets if you want to move up so people get comfortable in, in where they are you know they may like the environment and just enjoy where they're at right then and there but it's always good to start in those smaller markets, learn everything you need to learn. We will definitely do that working in a smaller market. So learn what you need to learn then. So as you move up, of course, you're still gonna make mistakes in any market you go to. I still make mistakes on air. I still fumble, you know, on live TV, but it's okay because we're not expected to be perfect. You know, everybody messes up sometimes. So you kind of just gotta, you know, brush that off and, and just keep on going. So those are just some of the things I learned working in a small market. Of course, if you want more tips, I can definitely make more videos in the future. Definitely have much more coming up. So you guys want to stay tuned. Bye.